Mayflies are still buzzing around the lake shore and sticking onto just about everything. Meteorologist Matt Willoughby joins us tonight to break down whether mayfly swarms are getting bigger each year. Matt, some people would say yes. What did you find yeah. out? Yeah, Mel, researchers at the Lake Erie Center say due to the infinite amount of mayflies each year, it's really hard to tell if swarms are getting bigger or smaller, but there is one study to provide some insight. Mayflies have always been an important component of the food chain when it comes to Lake Erie's ecosystem. And there's a study, it's now about four years old, suggesting that mayflies in Lake Erie might have peaked about 20 years ago and are now slowly starting to decline. And that might be that they were, they were overpopulated 20 years ago and now they're getting back to a more uh, sustainable level. Thomas Bridgman, director of the Lake Erie Center, says there were almost no mayflies in Lake Erie from the 1950s to the early 1990s. Because of pollution. And then mayflies came back in the 1990s and when they came back, they came back gangbusters. With this past winter being one of the warmest on record, Bridgman says mayflies could be impacted, but not necessarily in the size of the swarm. As we get warmer springs, that might cause the hatch to occur earlier. As we saw this year, uh, Western Lake Erie warmed up significantly faster than it did in most years, and so we saw the mayfly hatch probably a week or two earlier than we normally do. If mild winters continue, Bridgman says it's hard to say what it will mean for mayflies. I think what will happen is uh, we, instead of that big pulse of mayflies that we get at the beginning of June usually, we might start to get two pulses, maybe one in June, maybe one in August, because it's, it, it may kind of throw off the timing of the mayfly development. It Now, Bridgman wants to recommend and remind everybody that mayflies are completely harmless and they act as a food for birds and fish in a protective way for our food cycle on Lake Erie.